Hello everyone, what's up? Welcome back to my channel and to anyone that is new here. Hi, my name is Christy. I'm a personal stylist that helps women rise to their highest and best selves through style. Now today we are going to be talking about closet mistakes that women make. There are common things I see happen over and over and over and over again with my clients and with a lot of the women that I'm helping out in my online programs when it comes to their closets. So I'm going to break down some of the top five mistakes that women make. So let's dive in. Now the first mistake when it comes to the closet is not getting clear on your vision. This is something I talk about at nauseam. Having a vision for what you want when it comes to your style makes all the difference in the world. What happens with most women is that we are looking for outfit inspiration, we will hit up Pinterest, we'll hit up Google Images, and we wait for inspiration to hit us. And not that this is a bad thing, however, it really ends up creating a very mindless collage of images that doesn't necessarily create any cohesive story to what it is we actually want to see when we look in the mirror. So I always tell women this is kind of like going to a furniture store and you buy all the things that you see very first on site and you bringing those that furniture home and then you expect it to work in your living room like you strategically plan everything out like no that is not a thing. <laughs> So I tell women, what do you want when it comes to your style? How is it that you want to feel? What do you want to see when you look in the mirror? Who is your next level woman? Who are you unfolding to be? Get clear on who that is first and then come up with keywords based on that image uh, or that vision that you have for yourself and then go to Pinterest or Google and use those keywords to help you create a collage of images that speak to you based on your next level woman or based on the style that you desire to have for yourself. This will allow you to strategically look at those images and then ask yourself what it is that you need in your closet or if your closet's actually going in a direction that makes you feel good. So make sure you get clear in your vision first. Honestly, that alone will give you so much clarity as the direction that you are having when it comes to your style. And I promise you that alone is such a game changer. Now the second closet mistake that women make is not letting go of old clothing. Now some women are fantastic with purging and others have a really tough time with it. Now it can be tough because some pieces can be sentimental, some pieces, you know, maybe we have an attachment to it, like maybe you can reminisce about a date where you first met your partner, let's say for example, or maybe there's an interesting story behind the piece that you bought, or maybe you really loved and wore that piece for a time in your closet and you just wore it to death. All of those things are good and valid, but a lot of the time, if we don't purge the things that aren't serving us in our closet, it can make us feel stale. And the reason for that is sometimes we've just evolved past what's in our closet. It represents an old version of ourselves that no longer exists because of course we grow, we evolve, you know, our interests and things change as we evolve as human beings. It's only natural. So it would make sense that our style would evolve along with us. So it's okay if something that you were interested in and wore and loved and got a lot of use out of doesn't represent your style now. It's when we hold on to those pieces and struggle to make them work and feel, make ourselves feel wrong or guilty for wanting to let go of that, that we end up finding ourselves in a style rut. And then we're constantly looking at our closet filled with things and saying, oh my gosh, I have nothing to wear right? When you're staring at a bursting closet full of clothing. And a lot of the time that can just be because we haven't let go of the things that are no longer serving us or represent the woman we are or who we are becoming. So even though it can be challenging, let go of the things and get honest with yourself about what you have in your closet and whether you really, really think that this represents the style that you want, or if you can style it in a way that makes you feel good. So again, you can go back to point one, go back to your vision and then compare it against those pieces that you're struggling to let go of in your closet and get some clarity based on that to see if you can make it work. Now the next closet mistake that women make is to not have enough basics in their closet. Now you hear about the wardrobe basics all of the time and it's because they are the foundational glue that make all of your outfits work. So if you look at any image on Pinterest, if you look at an outfit in a movie or a, a sitcom or, or whatever, anything that you're looking at for outfit inspiration, you will probably see at least one wardrobe basic within that outfit. So not having those pieces in your closet really can make it challenging in terms of wanting to put an outfit together. So if you're only buying the cute, sparkly, fun thing, but you don't have some of the grounded pieces that can 
not necessarily neutralize the outfit, but help build the foundation of the outfit that you want for yourself, you may find yourself running short on outfits and wondering why when you're staring at a closet full of clothing. So if you aren't sure what wardrobe basics are, I do actually have a free, I do actually have, sorry, a free wardrobe basics checklist that I will leave linked down below. You can go to my website, sign up for my VIP newsletter and you get that for free. So I'll leave that resource for you guys down below in case you're interested. Now the next closet mistake that women make is not to take the time to experiment with their clothing. Let's be honest, outfit boredom is a real thing. And rather than taking, you know, let's say an hour, even if it's broken up into 10 minute segments uh, throughout the week in our closet to experiment and see what we can come up with outfit wise, most women end up, you know, hitting the online shops and they will scroll for new pieces to make them feel excited about their closet again. The problem is, is that when you don't focus on what you have in your closet and what new outfit possibilities are already there, because I can guarantee you, you always have more outfit possibilities than you think. That is one of my favorite things that people say to me. They're like, Christy, I have, I have no, no outfit options. Girl, I will prove you wrong every single time. There's always outfit possibilities. You just need to take the time and experiment with what you have in your wardrobe. So this will not only save you money, but it'll also allow you to get more use of your clothing that's in your closet and really make you intentional about having and using the pieces that you invested your hard earned dollar into as well. So again, if you you, you know, if you're short on time, use 10 minute increments here and there when you can to try an outfit plan or come up with something new or, you know, grab a latte or a glass of wine. And if you can block off an hour or two for yourself, maybe on the weekend or whenever you might find yourself getting a free moment and challenge yourself, how many new outfits can you create? in your closet, you know, look to Pinterest for inspiration or grab a top and see how many bottoms in your closet you could pair that top with, you know, go right down to the accessories. There's always possibilities in your closet that will help you feel reinvigorated with your style and really have a light bulb moment as to how much you actually have hiding in there. And then the last closet mistake women make is not getting the best quality you can afford when it comes to your clothing. Clothing at the end of the day is still an investment. And I, you know, I'm the first to say that I love a good trendy, like inexpensive item. However, the pieces that I know I'm going to wear over and over again. So things like my wardrobe basics or things that really speak to my personal style are the things that I'm going to try and purchase in the best quality that I can afford because I know I'm going to wear a lot more of it than than something that's fun and trendy and may last for a season or two, if you will. Uh, and this way, not only is the fit going to be better, because generally speaking, when you're investing a little bit more in your clothing, you know, the stitching's better, the quality of the fabric tends to be a little bit better, uh, the tailoring on the piece is going to be a bit better. But I do find that there's an energy behind our clothing as well. And you just feel different when you put something on that is a little bit more of an investment and makes you feel really good. There's definitely a vibe behind your clothing and wearing something that makes you feel special because you invested in yourself and you knew that you were worth that investment. And again, not only that, but you just, you get a better bang for your buck. So if any of you are, you know, not sure how to mix and match your clothing to get a good bang for your buck, I do have a ton of videos on how to make capsule wardrobes. There's a lot of information on there on how you can get a mix and match with your clothing that can be super, super helpful. So I'll link some of those videos for you guys down below as well. And if any of you want any help with actually creating more outfits in your closet, I do have a fabulous online class called Jumpstart Your Style. It gives you 14 style exercises that I promise you will crack open the outfit possibilities in your closet. It is so much fun. The women that have been a part of that program rave about how wonderful it is and how it got them seeing new possibilities in their wardrobe. So I'll leave a link for that program down below. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, hit the little red subscribe button down below. And other than that, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.